All right, guys, so here we are with the Belroy leather case for the S22 Ultra, one that I was super excited to get in because I absolutely love uh, the Pixel 6 Pro variant of this case. So wanted to get one of these in and see what Belroy was cooking up for the S22 Ultra, but you guys already know how this goes. You got your super slim profile. It's eco tan leather, three year warranty. So I'm guessing you just get you know in contact with their customer service if you have any issues and you're good to go. Just some more information there. You can kind of freeze the video and read that if you would like to, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of open it. This packaging usually is like a little bit more fitted. For some reason, mine came a little bit loose. I did already open this. So I'll kind of be transparent about that because I wanted to feel the leather, but like I said, normally I come a little bit more sealed than that, but kind of got this whole eco-friendly packaging. Just getting the case for the most part. Don't really need not, you know anything else anyway, so. Go ahead and close that and we'll toss the case or the box off to the side. So here's the case itself. I'll even bring in the Pixel 6 Pro so you can kind of see. Now they both do have that same kind of suede feel on the inside. These are very expensive cases and their quality, you know, definitely shows. So it's good to see Bellroy kind of giving that same quality. Uh, the one thing that you will notice a difference between the two is if you look at the actual button cut out here. So with the actual button cutout, let me see if I can make sure that, that focuses for you guys, but with the actual button cutout, you have like a kind of a plastic strip that comes along and kind of like, like it's not one full leather piece. Whereas on the Pixel 6 Pro variant of the case, you'll actually see that they kind of give you like these faux metallic buttons. Now, only thing I could think of is maybe it's just because of how the device is curved maybe or, or so. I'm not honestly 100% sure. Um, also when it comes to the top, you also do have more of a plastic here, whereas the Pixel 6 Pro is just pure leather. So I will say in that regard, I do prefer the Pixel 6 Pro style just because it is more leather on the case, right? Pixel 6 Pro, we're looking here at the bottom of the case as well. You got more plastic here, and then here you have more leather. And again, just because it's you know plastic more, more so on this one than the leather on the back doesn't mean that it doesn't feel as premium. Both of these cases feel super premium and feel really, really great. So like I said, don't, don't take it as I'm saying that this isn't up to par in terms of quality. No, it definitely is. So you have your bigger cutout port for that middle in case you wanna use third party cables, always great. Speaker and then S Pen cutout right there, so good to go. Speaker hole up top. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the S22 Ultra and we'll snap that right on in. So. Like I said, in terms of pull, you got a little bit there. So like I said, you do have some there near the cutouts, but the fit feels pretty good. Now, in terms of like the actual fit, I don't know if it'll kind of show up on camera, but when I first got the case, it kind of seemed like more of the silver was kind of showing through on the bottom, almost as if the fit wasn't super precise. Now that I kind of look head on with the case, it honestly seems like it has gone away. I can still see a little bit here in this area, but like I said, your mileage may vary. I don't know if every case kind of comes like that and then it, you know, kind of fits more to the phone the more you use it. I know the leather material does wear over time, so maybe that has something to do with the case. You'll see I have like a little slight cut out here at the top and that's where your speaker grill is for your phone calls, obviously. Buttons again, now even though again, these buttons aren't the kind of faux metal, they are just as tactile as those. So they feel just as good. They feel really, really clicky. So almost a bit too clicky in some regards. Like I feel like I can kind of hit these with less, you know, force or resistance than on the Pixel 6 Pro side. Let's go ahead and check out that S Pen now. And again, like I always say, man, as long as you guys got nails, which I bite my nails, so I always kind of run into issues sometimes with that. As long as you guys don't bite your nails like me, you're not gonna have any problem getting that Pixel 6 Pro out of the case. Let me go ahead and throw this on Do Not Disturb for you guys. So that way you're not getting bombarded or anything like that. But um, yeah, so as long as you don't bite your nails or anything like that, you're not gonna have any problem getting that S Pen in and out, so no issues there. There's a look at the bottom of the device. You can see again, that port is nice and large. Speaker up top, nothing on that side. And then again, got your cutouts there on that side. So like I said, guys, that is the Bellroy leather. Now, the thing in, in regards to leather, kind of say I already got like some kind of smudge things there, is when you first get it, a lot of the times, the, it kind of feels a little slippery. It's probably the best way to put it. 
I normally find that as the leather kind of wears and you get kind of oils from your skin and from you eating, things like that, actually onto the case, the case itself starts to feel more grippy. At least it did with my Pixel 6 Pro to where now this feels extremely grippy when it's on my phone. I have no issues in terms of grip. So I'm expecting this case to be the exact same in regards to that. So shouldn't have any issues or anything like that. In terms of gestures you can still use all of your gestures absolutely no issues there we'll pop into spotify and that's the back gesture no issues at all so everything still works great absolutely love what bellroy did with this case again i think the reason this has a little bit more plastic than the pixel 6 pro case is just because of the device's shape this is kind of more of that kind of round where it's not just like a normal you know style it's not it's not, it's not like it's not like the normal slab design style smartphone so they kind of had to do things a little bit differently like i said just because that's the case though doesn't mean that this is a bad case still fits extremely well again you got a little bit of pull especially where those buttons are you can kind of expect that Gets a little bit better as you go down the device, which is how most cases are. Top is next to no give at all. Again, the bottom, you got a little bit more give, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that that kind of forms to your device over time. Like now, I, when I'm actually having the device on, I really can't see. Um, I really can't see like the silver from the bottom of my phone there. So like I said, over time, it'll probably adapt and fit a little bit more snug or maybe I just got a model where the bottom is a little bit, you know, more loose. I didn't get multiples of this, so I can't really tell. But like I said, guys, that is the Bellroy leather case for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. My opinion looks really, really solid. Um, almost forgot before we got it here. Got to give your lip protection for the camera housing. So the way that this one works is the uh, protection here protrudes out from the device. So where you don't get necessarily a lip for protection, the cameras are recessed into, into the case itself. So if you do put it down, you're not gonna have any issues. Now I'll kind of bring it here because that aspect of my desk isn't 100% level, but we'll bring it right here. And as you can see, there is no, kind of shaking the camera there too, but there is no kind of rumbling back and forth or teetering back and forth with this particular case. So you got nothing to worry about in that regard, man. But I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, guys. Just wanted you guys to have a nice look at the Bellroy leather case. Again, these do run about $50, so it is a pretty expensive case, but I do feel as though you get what you pay for. This is some premium real leather. The suede inside is gonna be great. Uh, in terms of the feel on your device like you don't have you know just bare plastic it's like a nice suede microfiber material so that's always good bellroy great job on another great case that's gonna do it for the video today guys but as always this is ike's tech talk i will catch you all in the next video thanks again for watching guys peace